my name is Karen Wilwell. I'm the watershed specialist with the Delaware County Conservation District. We're here today at Rose Tree Park in Media, Pennsylvania to show you how to apply sticky traps to catch the spotted lanternfly. The spotted lanternfly is a highly invasive insect from Asia. It feeds on 70 plus trees in this area. Um, not only is it a nuisance to residents, um, but it also affects the hardwood industry, uh, the orchard industry, and the vineyard industry. Um, I want to show you how to first identify the Tree of Heaven, the pest preferred host plant. So here we have a leaf can you see it? from the Tree of Heaven. Um, you can identify it by the alternating leaf pattern as well as the nodules on the end of each leaf on the tree. You can also tell by the cantaloupe um, uh, texture on the trunk of the tree. Um, so these are some of the supplies you'll need. Uh, some sticky tape, uh, fly tape, or duct tape also works. Um, most of these are available at your local hardware store. We have uh, measuring tape or measuring spool uh, to measure the circumference of the tree to determine how much sticky tape you'll need. We have thumbtacks to apply to secure the sticky tape to the tree. Uh, we have chicken wire here. Uh, this will act as a buffer for what's known as bycatch. Um, it can be mammals or birds or larger insects that would get stuck to the tree that we do not want to capture. And we have a pair of uh, wire clippers to cut the chicken wire. First step for applying the sticky trap is uh, to measure the circumference of the tree to determine how much sticky tape you will need. Okay, so we have a rather old tree of heaven here and it is six feet and six inches. So after, after you've measured the circumference of your tree, uh, you will roll out the sticky tape. And to avoid getting a lot of the sticky tape on your fingers, you'll want to fold over the end of it just about an inch or a half inch. So place that at the bottom of the measuring tape. And roll out the sticky tape to about two inches greater than what you measure for the circumference. You can either tear the sticky tape with your hands or use scissors to cut it. Okay, and then on the other end, do the same thing that you did at the beginning and fold it just a little bit to make it easier to carry. Okay. So when you're ready to apply your sticky tape, um, if you're working alone around a bigger tree like we are today, um, you can use a thumbtack to attach the one end of the sticky tape. If you're working on a smaller tree by yourself, it's easy enough to reach around the tree and attach it that way. Or if you have another person with you, um, they can hold the one end if you don't have any thumbtacks. So we're just going to walk the sticky tape around the trunk of the tree. And if you've measured your sticky tape correctly, it should overlap so you can stick the one end to the other end. So we've applied, we've cut and applied the chicken wire around the sticky tape. Uh, we measured the chicken wire about six inches to a foot greater than the circumference of the tree trunk. Um, this is to allow enough room between the sticky tape and the chicken wire um, to prevent what is known as bycatch. Like I mentioned before, um, this could be uh, small mammals or birds or larger insects that might walk up the tree and get stuck on the sticky tape. We don't want to catch those, we just love the spotted lanternfly. 
So to make sure that the chicken wire is not attached to the sticky tape, uh, one of the things you can do after you've attached the end is to bend the bottom and the top of the chicken wire so that it's secure against the tree. So here, you can bend it down like so. And this will prevent any small mammals from climbing up under the chicken wire and getting stuck. Or crawling down under the chicken wire. You can also use um, vinyl window screenings or other kinds of metal screens as long as the openings are small enough that larger mammals cannot get through. And now we're up to at least six spotted lanternflies stuck on our sticky trap in less than five minutes. Okay. And there we have our sticky trap with a protection against bycatch. So we've completed our sticky tape application to the Tree of Heaven. Uh, we recommend that you return to the sticky tape every couple of days just to make sure there's no bycatch um, and to see when to replace the sticky tape. Uh, the spotted lantern flies they will uh, they'll really take up the whole sticky tape if your tree is badly infested. So you just want to make sure that you're reapplying it to get uh, even more uh, spotted lantern flies. So for more information about spotted lantern fly control and management methods, we recommend that you contact uh, Penn State Extension. They do have a spotted lantern fly hotline, or you can visit their website at extension.psu.edu for more information. Thank you.